In this video, you're going to learn how to fix a few errors in Trains and New Eras, specifically payware related errors. For example, I have this LF1 tram that I purchased for Trains 2012. It was one of the trams that were included with the classic Cavern City route, and I wanted to move it to Trains A New Era, but there are some errors showing up that won't let the tram appear. Now, this video ended up being too long, so in, I'll, I'll include how to fix this specific tram in a later video, if it's possible. <laughs> However, in this video, we're going to learn how to fix a few other dependencies of that same route and see if we can get them to work on trains a new era without any errors. So, you may be wondering why I would even go through the trouble of installing this route on Trains A New Era if it's already compatible with Trains 12 and I already have that game. Well, the first reason is Trains 2012 is kind of slow on my computer. Trains A New Era runs more smoothly. Another issue is a lot of times Trains 12 does not work right on this computer. For example, after a few minutes of playing this route on the game, sometimes the game will just close randomly and it'll say, Trains has experienced an error and needs to close. And it doesn't let me save what I was doing either. It just closes without any warning. And I can never find any reliable information on how to fix that, that issue. It's always a recurring issue with this specific game on Windows 10. Windows 10 just does not like running this game for some reason. It will find any ridiculous reason to try to close it down. So, but I've never had any issues like that on Trains and New Era. So, that's the reason why I want to try to move this route to that game. Because I really want to play this route, but I really can't stand all the issues I'm having with Trains 12. Like, for example, this time I'm lucky and actually was able to get the game to play without closing down within a few seconds. But so far, this is the longest I've ever I've ever been able to get the game to work without closing, with, without shutting down. Okay, to show you what I mean, I'm going to try to put some trams on the track and see if the game can actually run without shutting down. <laughs> Now, I'm not really sure if this tram can make it around the sharp corners on this game without freezing, so I'll have to test it before actually using it. I like using a large variety of trams, so rather than just using the ones that the route came with, I also include a bunch of extras that I, that I downloaded. Now, I've tested this tram, and I know it can make it around the sharp corners, that are in this route without getting stuck on the curves. So I know this one can be used. Oh, 
I haven't tested this tram yet, but it might work. Also, why is the preview different than the actual tram that I put in the ground? There must be something wrong with this game. See, in the preview, the tram is reddish or something, but when I put it on the ground, it's blue, obviously. I don't know what I don't know what's causing that. But it's probably going to trigger a fatal error in a few minutes, so let's try to get this done as quickly as possible. Okay, the game didn't freeze that time, but when I came back to it, it wouldn't load the route again, so... Yeah, I ended up having to try to put it on Trains A New Era. Anyway, a lot of this stuff becomes faulty when you move it on Trains A New Era. Because it has a bunch of glitches that Trains 12 would have ignored, but for some reason this game can't. One of them is that this route is faulty. It has faulty dependencies, and you probably have to fix all of those before the route can work. Right now I'm trying to fix the city tram route rule or something, which is faulty. Now when I tried fixing the drive command, it told me that I didn't have permission to commit changes to the object because it was created by someone else and for whatever reason even though I legally purchased it they decided to make it so that you can't edit it in any way even if you only plan on using it for your own private purposes the only way to fix that is to clone the object because when you clone it it gets put under your name and the privileges that get removed come back and you can now commit changes to the object so right now I'm going to clone this so that I can fix it because it's faulty on Trains A New Era. I've already cloned the TZL City Drive rule and, the, and now I'm cloning the Drive command. As you can see, it actually lets me commit the edits because it now says that it, that it was created by me. Now, one thing I should point out is you cannot release this to the download station once you clone it because it still belongs to someone else and you can get in trouble if you do that but if you plan on using this for your own private purposes you can clone it now right now you can see that I've cloned it and I'm going to try to move it to trains a new era to see if that fixes the issues because it's not faulty right now I press Control shift D to save it as a CDP file and now I'm going to open it and change a new era. Now the city tram root session rule is dependent on the drive command. Right now I'm trying to edit the city drive rule to use the one that I cloned to see if that fixes the faulty dependencies issue. Right now what I'm doing is I'm replacing this CUID with the CUID number of the clone that I created. So it uses that instead. Because it won't let me fix the drive command in Trains A New Era without me cloning it.
Now it still has faulty dependencies because the the tram stations are faulty. I have to fix all of those before the session rule and the drive command can work. You'll notice that if I click on that and click uh, view dependencies, it shows the tram stations and the session rule and, and the drive command. Okay, right now I'm trying to fix the texture errors in the drive command. To do that, I'm going to open it in Explorer, copy all the files, and place them in a folder somewhere on the computer that I already specified as the go-to folder for fixing content errors. This is the folder I created for that. I'm going to delete what's already in here and then paste what I copied earlier. Now I'm going to go to uh, PevSoft Images to TGA. Then I'm going to open the file. Then I'm going to click Save As. And that's all there is to it, pretty much. Now I'm just going to copy those files and paste them back to the folder of the asset that I was editing earlier and click replace the, uh, the, the files in the destination. Now I'm going to submit the edits. It's taking a while because this has a lot of dependencies that are also dependent on it. And sometimes it causes the game to freeze a little bit when I submit it. Okay, it's still saying it has faulty dependencies because the tram stations need to be fixed. But right now, it itself is not faulty. Let's see what the errors are in that. That doesn't have any errors. So next up, it's fixing the tram stations. That one doesn't, that one I think has an error. Okay. Yeah, that has a lot of errors on it. Most of them texture related. I'm not sure why people keep using dot texture files. Either way, I'm gonna have to copy that and basically do what I did for the other thing. You know, this is really tedious. At this point, I'm wondering if it's even worth all the effort. I mean, I was up until midnight last night doing all of this. Let's see what these sound files sound like. The train is leaving the station. This one's got a lot of texture files, so it's going to take a really long time to do all this. Right now I'm showing you all the files just to get just so you get an idea of what I'm doing. However, in the next few stations that I fix, I'm just going to skip this part. I'm just opening all of the dot texture files. Then I'm clicking on file and click save as and it saves it as a TGA file so that the game can read it. Then I'm copying all the files that I created. And moving them to the folder of the asset. It's going to ask you if you want to replace the files that are already in there. Go ahead and do that. Then just submit it. It still appears to be to either be faulty or have faulty dependencies. And that's because it's also dependent on the other stations, which are also faulty. 
there's another issue too. It's dependent on something called a TZL tram signal, I believe. That was faulty and I couldn't fix it because it didn't give me the permission to commit it. So I had to clone it and then tell all the stations to use the cloned tram signal instead. It was the only way to get it to work. So yeah, I'm doing the same thing with this one. Cloning all the files. And then replacing the dot .texture files with TZA files. And so on and so forth. The train's asset database froze while I was trying to submit one of these tram stations. So I'm going to have to restart the computer in order to be able to submit it. Now, right now I'm editing the tram station, or one of the tram stations. I'm replacing the tram signal with the one I cloned because, like I said earlier, it wouldn't let me change the tram signal because I didn't have permission to edit it. So I had to clone it and just so I could fix it to work on Trains 12. I mean, Trains A New Era. Right now, I'm replacing the QID of the tram signal with the one I created and also replacing it in the QID table. Because if you don't do that too, it's still going to say that it needs the original tram signal. Okay, when trying to fix this object, an error came up that I couldn't solve, and I'm going to show you what that error is. I later found out how to do this, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so when I tried to open one of the textures, it's not letting me because it's encrypted and it won't it, it just won't let you view it. Eh. The only way to fix that is to clone the object that uses that texture and then copy the texture. <laughs> because for whatever reason, it is such a big deal for you to be able to copy the texture of something you've already legally purchased. I, I just don't understand. The train's asset database froze again while trying to submit one of the tram stations, so I ended up having to restart the computer again. Okay, this tram station is no longer faulty. Now we just have to complete this process several more times over the course of a few hours. But I did manage to fix some of the tram stations so far. Okay, I believe right now I'm fixing an elevated station. The process is still pretty much the same, and as you can see, the one below it is already fixed. The only real difference is that there are more textures on this one.
Once again, I am replacing the tram signal with the one that I cloned because the one that it came with was faulty in Trains A New Era and it wouldn't give me the permission to commit it. So I ended up having to copy it. I think another issue was the mesh couldn't load because sometimes when you try to edit something that you purchased, the mesh automatically becomes faulty and it won't let you make any changes to it. So yeah, when that happens, you pretty much have no choice but to clone it. I'm telling this tram station to use the tram signal that I cloned instead of the one that I purchased. And after that, the station stood should the station should work because I fixed the textures already. Right now, I'm looking over all the cuids in these these lists to make sure there isn't anything else I have to replace, because one minor mistake you can easily make is overlooking one cuid because you were scrolling too quickly, and then it still says that it's missing dependencies or one of them is faulty. So I always look over them very carefully to make sure I've replaced all the ones that need to be replaced. And of course I also told the tram stations to use the the tram route rule and the tram route driving command that I cloned because the ones that uh, that I purchased were faulty and it wouldn't give me permission to edit them. Okay, fixing that tram station also fixed the one underneath it too. However, they're going to become faulty again when the when the screen refreshes because it's going to realize that it's still dependent on these tram stations that are still faulty. And it, they're not going to become non-faulty again until I fix all of the stations. This is going to take a while, so let's just skip ahead to the end. Okay, the train's asset database froze again, so I ended up having to restart the computer again but this is where I am so far some of the tram stations are now non-faulty but then they became faulty again as soon as the screen refreshed because they're still dependent on the ones that I haven't fixed yet that are still faulty however like I said earlier this is going to take a while so let's just continue as far as we can without um without the computer freezing again Okay, right now I only have one tram station to fix, and then this this should all work correctly, theoretically. It only took somewhere between three and five hours, but I finally managed to fix all of these tram stations. <laughs> They are now non-faulty and should appear in Trains A New Era. The messages that are dependent on these tram stations also are non-faulty because I fixed all their texture errors too. And this is also not faulty, but the screen is still refreshing. When it, when it finishes updating, this should also show up as non-faulty. If you want to fix the fireworks to work in Trains A New Era, you're out of luck because they can't be fixed even if you clone them. So I basically ended up having to skip that. This is how far I got without trying to clone it. Error, you do not have permission to open this texture file. Yeah, I tried it several times, but still the same error. It won't let me open it. Still, I can't convert it to a TZA file, and therefore can't fix it. I was puzzled for a really long time about this one, but then I realized that I could just try cloning it. But you'll see in a little bit how far I got after trying to clone it.
It may not be faulty now, but just wait till it gets to train the new era. Let's see if there's anything we can do about these faulty errors that are showing up on Train the New Era. Well, it actually let me load the image this time, so that's that. But, as you can see, there, it has more errors that I can't fix. Watch what happens when I try to submit it. Invalid position data in IM file. Unable to parse chunk to in mesh file. I don't even know what these errors are trying to tell me. Unable to load index mesh cav firework 01.im. I don't know how to fix those errors, so I guess the fireworks just can't be used on Train the New Era. All right, it's time to learn how to fix the Trains Land Multi Mesh. Well, this thing has a plethora of <laughs> errors wrong with it. They're all specifically texture errors. So, we simply have to copy all the texture errors and then replace them with TGA files using the Images to TGA program. So, open it for edit and open it in Explorer. And then just do the same things we were doing with the train stations. Just um, edit all the textures. So, as you can see right now, I'm copying everything. Okay, it wouldn't let me fix one of the textures, so I ended up having to clone the Trains Land multi mess just so I could fix whatever texture it was. But it's faulty after doing that, so let's see what's wrong with it. I think there's a problem with one of the index meshes. Yep, one of the index meshes could not be loaded. I think it might have been the Ferris wheel. There's not really much I can do about that because you can't fix index meshes. Only the person who created the mesh can do that. And really, it's not faulty. It's just programmed to make itself faulty when you try to copy it. So there's nothing I can do to stop that from happening. It's in its programming.
All right, we found it. The one that's faulty. All I can really do is delete it because I can't edit it in any way that will make it appear in the game. Here's yet another faulty mesh. Again, all I can do is delete it because I don't know how to fix index meshes that can't be loaded. And here's another faulty mesh. I can't do anything about this one either.
Well, I deleted all of the faulty meshes, so let's just save this and see if I can get it to work in terms of new era the way it is right now. Obviously, the ones that I deleted aren't going to appear in the root, but there was only three of them, so perhaps I could fill in the gaps theoretically with other buildings that I downloaded myself or that are built into Trains A New Era. I'm in the config file of the root Classic Cavern City, and I'm telling it to use the clone Trainsland multi mesh that I made earlier instead of the one that it came with, because the one that it came with is faulty in Trains New Era. To make sure I'm not wasting my time fixing all this stuff to work in Trains New Era, I'm going to load the route real quick to see what it looks like so far. Since I already fixed the multi-mesh, which makes up for most of the meshes in this route. Uh, where is everything? I mean, I fixed the track so that it's not faulty, so at least the track should be available on this route. I also remember fixing all the tram stations, and then there is the multi mesh, mesh which makes up for pretty much everything that's on this route. So, why is it just empty with nothing but water? In fact, where are the tram stations at right now? Oh, by the way, I had to repaint the sky because that was also faulty. This is what the night sky looks like now. I'm going to try loading the route instead of the session to see if that makes a difference. Okay, I'm starting to think all of this was a waste of time. Okay, the tram stations are there. Okay, and now they're not. <laughs> okay, it looks like uh, you have to be a certain distance from the tram station to see them. Otherwise, they will vanish into thin air. I don't remember doing anything in the config file that would cause that to happen. Perhaps this is a glitch that's programmed into the tram station to prevent any of us from being able to edit it or copy it in any way. Maybe it's programmed to disappear See, it's there until you get uh, until you get away from it. Then it just disappears, and it's not because the and, it's, and it doesn't have anything to do with the draw distance because the draw distance is all the way up right now. Even the elevated stations are like that; they disappear. They don't have their tracks on them, which is weird because I remember fixing their built-in tracks. So they should appear. In fact, let's see what happens when I try to attach a track to it. Eh, not much happened. Where are the tracks? In fact, where is the multi-mesh?
Okay, let's put a tram station on the ground and see what happens. Well, it's doing the exact same thing, but there is one difference. This one actually has track attached to it. So why don't the rest of them have that? Even though they're in the exact same station. And why are the meshes disappearing when you get far from them? There doesn't appear to be any track on the ground at all. Which is weird because the junctions are actually appearing on the map when you zoom out. I don't know what that's all about. This is probably where the airport was. And even the underground stations are disappearing. Well, let's just exit out of that for now. I'm going to try fixing the traffic lights and seeing if that makes a difference. I'm also going to try to fix all the tracks that are dependencies of this route, as well as all attached tracks. The traffic lights are very easy to fix. They just have texture errors. This can be fixed again with Pebsoft's Images to TGA. Pretty much the same way as the other things that we've been fixing so far. Right now I'm fixing the tram bridges, but fixing the traffic lights is the same method pretty much. And so too is the, is the multi-mesh blend, which is the other thing I'm also trying to fix. I'm going to see how this route functions after fixing all the tram bridges, all the traffic lights. Well, most of them. Some of them I didn't really feel like touching because they, they had the same payware errors that the other objects that I've installed on Trains New Era were having. And I didn't feel like messing with them right now since it's going to require me to clone them again. And I don't feel like cloning anything else right now, at least not without knowing if it's going to even work in Trains A New Era. Okay, after fixing all of the tram tracks, all the tram bridges, the multi-mesh, the multi-mesh blend, and after fixing all the traffic lights, this is still what happens. So, I'm starting to think it's a waste of time to try to install this route on Trains A New Era. I'm just going to have to try to find a way to make Trains 12 work. Either way, in a later video, I'm going to... See, I don't understand. Why is it that when I put a new tram station on a track, it has tracks attached to it? But the ones that are already on the route don't have tracks attached to them. What is the difference? Anyway, in the next video, I'm going to 
try to fix the LF1 tram to work on trains, a new era. Just to see if it's possible. I still don't understand why these tram stations disappear when you're far away from them though. Especially since the draw distance is all the way up. I don't understand what's going on here. And why don't they have tracks attached to them? Even though when I put a new one on the ground, they have tracks attached to them. What is the problem with this? I just don't understand what this is. On the positive side, the traffic lights work, and some of the trees also appear, and a small section of the tram bridge. You see, okay, the, the draw distance is definitely all the way up, so I still don't understand why these things are only appearing when you're close to them. And let's try t tweaking one one or two of the, s the settings. Still, and this is the only section of the tram bridge that's appearing. And it doesn't have tracks attached to it at all. Doesn't make any sense. I thought that as soon as you fix something, it appears on the route when you load it. But, um, the tracks still aren't appearing for some reason. As well as the multi mesh. That section of the bridge is working. See, why does the bridge stay stay up even when you're far away from it, but the stations don't? What have I done differently with the bridges? And why aren't the tracks between those bridges available? Even though I should have fixed them. Why do the traffic lights disappear as well as the tram stations when you're away from them? I don't understand. Well, at least the water fountains work, and they stay even if you're away from the, if, even if you're away from them. Eh. I'm just puzzled by this. I've also noticed the ambient sound isn't loading at all. Okay, well, let's see how much of this stuff actually is fixed well the tram track definitely works it appears on the ground when I click on it and this bridge also appears so I'm not sure why it's not appearing in the route this bridge also works you know what maybe it's a glitch that's programmed to happen when you try to copy the route I don't know this bridge works and this bridge works as well. That bridge works too. Okay, well let's try some of the objects. Traffic light definitely works. However, it only appears when you're close to it. When you go away from it with the camera, it disappears right away. 
Not sure why the letter B is more visible than the traffic light. Doesn't make any sense at all. All the traffic lights are like that. This doesn't make any sense to me at all. It can't be a problem with the mesh because the A is visible no matter how far I zoom away from it. And so are the passengers for the station. So why is only the traffic light not appearing at that distance? And the bodies of the tram stations? I don't get what's going on. Well, let's try the multi-mesh. That makes up almost all the meshes in this entire route. Surely there must be something wrong with the one I cloned if it if the root can't program them to appear in the game. So I'm going to try the one I cloned to see if I can program a building to spawn. Well, the multi-mesh is definitely working, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure at all why the meshes aren't appearing in the root. If there's no problem with the mesh, then why wouldn't it appear? I, I, just, I don't understand. Shoot, I wanted to take advantage of the fact that everything in Trains in New Era has a shadow. And the fact that everything has a reflection. But it looks like I won't be able to do that with this route. I mean, reflections exist in this route in the water. So I guess that's not really much of a problem. <laughs> 